You understand? So if you lived in Florida, you had a beach that had black water, that was our beach, and then you had a beach that had white water. And then sometimes they say, well, we don't want our beach no more, we want your beach, so they changed the water. You understand? <laughs> But that's how, that's how ridiculous this thing was in America. Hi, my name is Ryan Brown, and what I hope to learn tonight is about my history and my legacy. You know, they say that you don't know where you're going if you don't know where you came from. So I plan to really dig deep into my past, because if I know about my past, then I don't have to repeat mistakes, and I can learn from the things that other people have done and take those those lessons with me along my journey and I am here as a black alumni scholar and I've been afforded the opportunity um, of having people behind me that believe in me and the more I know the more I can make them proud so I plan to learn more about me tonight we all heard of Tussauds right yes. my man Tussaud he, he, he ran the podium back to France <laughs> Then Napoleon decided to sell to Thomas Jefferson the whole Louisiana Purchase for two cents an acre. He did. Because you know what he said? He wanted out of North America. He didn't want no more trouble with us. I guess I got quote the bug um, about 25 years ago when I received a uh, FedEx of a 1832 bill of sale of a young brother out of Alabama named William Johnson who had been sold for five hundred dollars and frankly as soon as I opened this FedEx and held this document I felt that I was holding him in my hand and at that moment I wanted to know everything about how this young brother uh, got into this predicament and more importantly what this whole notion of slavery in America with African American was all about and that led me, uh, surely now, on about 25, 30 year quest to begin to acquire this story. The story of, uh, of the great accomplishments uh, that have really never been told in this country. There are two kinds of history. Uh, one is history and one is his story. And most of us got his story. And what we're trying to do is say that this story went back one year before the Mayflower uh, in 1619. And all of our brothers and sisters that came here from Africa, that sacrificed and toiled and contributed, we want to begin to bring them out. And what people will see tonight is an extraordinary group of African-American accomplishments, uh, from the first cookbook by an African-American in 1881 to the first slave narrative in 1789, or the first book written by an African about Africa in 1600. And all of these are great testaments to our people and to their, their um, scholarship, their uh, purposefulness, and their ability to overcome all kinds of obstacles. And uh, we take you all the way through civil rights, uh, the Brown versus Board, Plessy versus Ferguson, uh, the 1850 uh, Bill of, uh, Slave Bill, uh, Dred Scott. And all of these are part of the Kinsey Collection and they and, and and as a totality these pieces tell this story and then we switch into the three-dimensional and two-dimensional world of art and basically start with 1865 there were black people making a living painting in 1865 robert duncanson and we have uh five of those artists that we've uh, collected from the 19th century and then we've collected literally everybody else of note uh, all the way up through <coughs> excuse me, through now. So uh, we're real proud of uh, the story because the story is a story that we have been uh, really working on now for the last six years. And we, it's great to be here at USC uh, Boulevard Hall with USC um, Black Alumni Association in celebrating this uh, scholarship uh, fundraising.
This is this rock here. How many of you done your DNA? Shirley and I did our DNA. We see right over here. My DNA comes from Senegal. Guess where this rock comes from? Senegal, the Gory Island, one of the most infamous slave ships of slave ports in Africa. So guess what? My ancestors either walked on that rock or a rock like it. So the kids in Canada, instead of a lot like we're going to run away from that, we run to it. Because that's really where our, our basis is. Because you can't run away from 